The best thing about chest seals is that they can save your patient's life. The worst thing is that there are no proper tests for these seals on the internet, so choosing one seems to be a bit of a gamble. That's why we purchased six different chest seals and conducted a unique clinical comparison. So by the end of this video, you will have your own opinion on which one is the best. My name is Alex Hepner and this is Group Call. The first chest seals were designed in 1960 by thoracic surgeon Dr. Asherman to effectively manage sucking chest wounds. So those injuries where a hole in the chest wall allows air to be drawn into the pleural space, leading to all these nasty complications. Since then, various other designs of chest seals have been developed. The problem is that only resources usually only test the seal by applying it to a mannequin's chest. What can we learn from that? That a dressing sticks to plastic. Great, but will it stick to the skin, especially if it's covered in blood and sweat? How will it react to different pressures, including massive positive pressure? Practically no one is answering those questions, therefore we decided to find the answers ourselves. But enough talking, follow me and I will show you what we've prepared. To simulate the chest wall, we built a box and connected it to a ventilator. But that's not all. The box has been covered with a piece of animal skin sprinkled with a mixture of sodium chloride and Luna's True Clot, the best fake blood in the world. This will mimic sweat and blood, the natural elements of major trauma. Finally, we decided to use a knife to simulate a stabbing wound. Speaking of our competitors, we are going to test six different chest seals. All the products were purchased online and the manufacturers were not informed about our test to maintain maximum objectivity and ensure lack of conflict of interests. Let's go through the list of tested products. Norse chest seal. A chest seal featuring four vented seals and a medical grade hydrogel adhesive designed to maintain a secure seal on the skin even under challenging conditions such as blood, sweat, hair, sand or water. Edge vent. This dressing boasts six multi-directional vent channels and its easy foldability makes it an ideal addition to small medical kits. Battle chest seal. A waterproof chest seal with an innovative design including large handles that facilitate dressing application. Bowling chest seal. This disc comes with a distinctive vent system and a special gel-based adhesive. The manufacturer assets its strength in sealing over hair and blood. Fox chest seal. A chest seal equipped with 512 venting pathways and 24 adhesive islands. Impressively, it's designed to function effectively on uneven or curved surfaces, even under clothing or body armor. Russell chest seal. This seal is equipped with four large peripheral apertures to facilitate the drainage of air and blood. The manufacturer claims it may remain adhered for over 24 hours. We were impressed by how easy it is to apply this chest seal. Thanks to its rugged edge, the disc doesn't adhere to gloves, but it sticks well to the skin even over layers of sweat and blood. As a result, this product received the maximum points in this category. In terms of performance, we didn't notice any issues with uh, its reaction to negative pressure. However, its response to positive pressure could be improved. Overall, we rate it 9 out of 10. After opening the packaging of the battle chest seal, we discovered that the adhesive gel had caused the edges of the seal to stick together. This resulted in time-consuming application process. We are uncertain whether this is a common problem with the product or an isolated issue with the specific item, but this was rather disappointing. Still, this dressing adhered well to the wound and effectively managed negative pressure. The final score we assign is 6 out of 10. The application of the bowling chest seal was smooth and uncomplicated, however, we observed that the dressing didn't adhere to the skin as effectively as its competitors. Despite this, the dressing managed negative pressure quite well. When it came to positive pressure, particularly with larger air volumes above 800 mils, we noticed some challenges with the valve system. While using our fingers to keep the valves closer to the wound resolved the issue, we considered this less than optimal. 8 out of 10. After overcoming some difficulties with opening the rather thick and rigid pouch, we encountered no issues with applying this chest seal. However, we did notice some protrusion at the edges of the seal, even though this did not negatively impact the overall performance, which was commendable. 8 out of 10. Despite following the manufacturer's instructions, the application of the Russell chest seal proved to be a challenging experience. As you can see, the dressing doesn't appear to have been properly applied. 
the excessive stickiness of the dressing contributes to this difficulty. Additionally, the Russell chest seal lacks transparency, which we find suboptimal, particularly when dealing with wounds larger than a small window in the middle of the dressing. With that being said, it's worth noting that these issues did not affect overall performance of the seal. Our final score for this product is 7 out of 10. The application of the Fox chest seal was straightforward and the dressing adhered exceptionally well to the skin. The valve system operated smoothly, displaying efficacy with both positive and negative pressures. Our impression of this dressing was so positive that we decided to remove it and reapply it just to test its durability. To our satisfaction, it performed flawlessly. This outstanding performance leads us to assign a perfect score of 10 out of 10. After summing up the points, it seems that this is our clear winner. However, please remember that factors that are important for us may be different from those important for you. Also, if you'd like to learn more about tension pneumothorax, a topic that is closely related to today's discussion, please watch this video. My name is Alex Hepner and this was Group Call.